Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the logic assign refters feature. Um, and this can be really useful when maybe you've got a pre-placed board, you've got some uh, a board outline and some connectors and stuff that that have been placed um, before you had the, the schematic and the netlist ready. Um, this can happen when you've got a mechanical engineer and maybe he's giving you the, the coordinates and the locations and you've got a board outline already set up. Um, but what you'll notice is that these parts don't have a reference designator. They're kind of they're just pre-placed symbols. Um, you can see we just this is just called J star. These aren't actually associated to the netlist. Now what I could do is I could go place manually and place the actual connector from the netlist and then swap the two parts. But that's kind of a wasting a bit of time really. So if we use the command logic assign ref des, I then get effectively an option in the in, in the options menu to be able to go and browse all the parts. Now these are the parts in the netlist. You can see I've got a list of connectors and ICs and there's all my parts there. So let's just look for connectors for now. So I'm looking for J star. I'm going to click OK. We'll pick J1 and um, we'll click OK. And then it says, right, go and go and pick the connector. So I know this is J1. So that then effectively brings this in as J1. You can see I think that some of the connections are starting to come in. Now if I was to pick an incorrect connector because it doesn't match, I'm getting an error because it's looking for a different um, PCB footprint and obviously J2 hasn't got that PCB footprint. So let's go and pick a legal position. So we want J2, we want J3. Now I haven't got a J4, so I need to go to J5. So we'll make that one J5, that's J6, that's J7. And you can see that the rat's nest actually start to come in, the component gets associated with the actual netlist. Um, let's go again, we're looking for U star, and I want U1 and U2, because I've got the, the FPGAs already placed. We'll click on OK. That one's going to be U1, that one's going to be U2. And again, you can see the rat's nest started to come in. It can be really useful to kind of having to replace all these parts manually. Um, if you were to look in your placement list now, so we'll look in our placement menu. Let's go to place manually and we'll change this to the components by refdes. All my connectors are placed, there's no J references in this list anymore, and U1 and U2 have also been placed. So it's actually taking the component out of the netlist and placing it correctly.